Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to solve this weighted average question. Uh, this question might seem a bit lengthy uh, if you solve it by conventional method, but if you understand the concept and do it by shortcut method, then uh, this question can be solved in 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, I'll, I'll solve it by shortcut method, but before that I'll you know, introduce the concept of the weighted average so that we can appreciate the value of shortcut. So let's begin the question. Uh, at JBMS class of 2023, Ankita, a first year student, has taken 10 courses, earning grades A worth 4 points, uh, B worth 3 points, C worth 2 points each. Her grade point average is 3.2. Okay. And if the course in which she gets C were deleted, her GPA in the remaining course would be 3.33. How many A's, B's, and C's did she, did she get? So this is a clear question of weighted average. Over here, it's given that uh, A W one plus B W two plus C W three divided by A plus B plus C comes out as my weight uh, comes out my average weighted average. So over here, it's given that four A plus uh, the value of W one is given as four, value of W two is given as three three B plus two C divided by A plus B plus C, and it's the total average is given as 3.3. We have to solve this equation, find the value of ABC. And there's another equation that will be get. Uh, I'll write it directly. Um, it's, uh, in this other equation, we have to delete C. So we'll have 4A plus 3B divided by A plus B, and that's equal to 3.33. So we have to solve these two equations, find the values of ABC, and that will be the answer. So this method, as you can see, will take a lot of time. Firstly, we have to make the equation, then we have to solve it, and then find the value of ABC. So in the exam situation, this method is not so suitable. So let's jump into the shortcut method. I just showed you to, to make you understand that how lengthy it can be. So let's jump into the shortcut method. There are two shortcut methods that I'm going to tell. The first one, is the number line method. Uh, if you understand the concept of weighted average, it, it's simply, uh, you know, as I can say, it simply, you know, denotes the principle of seesaw. As in, if it is a seesaw, if it has four weight and three kg, four kg and three kg, the seesaw will tilt towards the four kg guy. The same concept is given in the weighted average also. Okay, fine. So we'll use this concept, this uh, physics principle. So we have three values, uh, four, three, and two. This basically denotes ABC, is it? Okay. And my overall average is given as 3.2. Now let's understand. Out of this four, three, two, the, my overall average is tilted towards three. How I can say it is tilted towards three? The gap between four and 3.2 is 0.8. The gap between three and 3.2 is 0.2. And the gap between 3.2 is and two is 1.2. So the gap is less between B and the overall average, which means the number of B is more than that of four and two. The number of value, the number of B is more than A and C. B is more than A and C. This is the reason why the overall average is tilted towards B. Now let's eliminate the option. 316, not possible because I want B has to be more than the other two. Eliminated, this is possible. This is possible, this is also eliminated. So as you can see, within 10 seconds, I can eliminate three options and I'm left with two options only. And the next five seconds will help you to eliminate the other, one option and you'll get the answer. Now, again, I'll make the seesaw to make you understand the other concept. Uh, A, B, C, four, three, two. There is no need to, you know, make the another seesaw kind of thing. You can do it over here also. Now I know B is more. Okay, fine, B is more. And my average is 3.2. Now we have to compare four and two. Towards four, the overall average is tilted more. 
see over here the gap is 0.8 and over here the gap is 1.2 so i can say that number of value of a is more number of a are more than number of c out of these two options only option c is possible so option c is my right answer and i can eliminate option d so this is how you can solve this question in around 15 to 20 seconds with the help of the concept of seesaw okay fine so this is one of the shortcut method that you can learn from this video uh, let's see the another shortcut method and the other shortcut method is only applicable over here because the uh, options are very good otherwise the other concept the other shortcut is not applicable everywhere okay fine now i'll and by the way in this entire concept i have not used this value 3.33 you can try it by that value also if you want to solve if you want to understand this concept much better you can start with this 3.33 and proceed further but i have you know done with 3.2 only now the next method i'll show you in the other method i'll use this value 3.33 but the concept is different it's more into like number system so as you can see the value is 3.333 there is only one possible scenario in which we get this value 0 0.333 or 1.333 2.333 n.333 it can be any value okay fine there's only one situation in which we can get 0.333 in the decimal places and that is when i have a denominator of three it can be anything one by three two by uh, four by three Just a minute, my uh, yeah, four by three, seven by three, anything. The denominator must have a multiple of three. Then only we can get this value point three three three, or else it is not possible. It must have. So, what is the concept of weighted average? A one W one plus A two W uh, B W two. B W two plus C W three divided by A plus B plus C is equal to my average weighted average. So I have this 3.33. Over here, I don't have the value of C because C was deleted. So A1, W1 plus B, W2 divided by A plus B has to be, uh, this is the weighted average. So this A plus B has to be a multiple of three. Then only I can get zero, uh, some N X.333. Then only I can get this value in the, uh, in the decimal place. Now let's check which option has a multiple of three. A plus B value can be get uh, can be uh, achievable from the options. So three plus one it is four. One plus three four. Three plus six nine. One plus six seven. Six plus one seven. So there is only one option in which I am getting a multiple of three, and this is the right answer. So this method is only applicable because the options are very suitable over here. If the options were like six three one, and Three, six, one, both options were available. Then in that scenario, you have to check it. You just have to check it and how to check it. Now let's see how to check it. Six into four, if I'm taking this one, six into four plus, plus three into three plus one into two divided by nine. Six, four is a 24 plus nine plus two by nine. This is 26 by nine, 35 by nine. And this is not equal to 3.2. Hence, this cannot be the answer. This has to be the answer. So this is how you have to you know proceed. If I'm getting two options, uh, two possible options, then we have to check one option and eliminate the other one. Okay, fine. So this is the most suitable method if you want to uh, do this question 10 to 15 seconds. Just see the multiple and and uh, fa factors and multiples. In, uh, many questions can be solved by factors and multiples in CET. So so as you can see, uh, we have 3.33, which means the denominator must have a multiple of three. And in only one option, we have a multiple of three. Uh, that is option C. So this is how we can do this question 10 to 15 seconds. So that's the end of the video. Um, before ending this video, let me do a quick advertisement of myself. I'm Tushar Pal. Uh, I'm uh, MBA CET 2021 rank five, and I have my own CET course. If you want to learn more such shortcuts and tricks, which can help you to get much more marks in CET and get better percentile and get JBMS. 
you can get into my course. You can buy my course. The, uh, the description of my course is given below. Uh, you can check it uh, in my website or else you can you know contact me. Uh, my contact, detail, contact details are given in the description below of YouTube. Just check it. And thank you for watching it. Have a good day.